not working out just yet. Pushka does see Yuragi, Rolling Thunder comes in from Sanctity, reaching towards the back end of the fight, hasn't stunned up anybody just yet as Yuragi throwing in the right click damage onto Satanic. A lot of these are being missed, however, as Boom now finally bringing in the Blink Dagger, they're going on the Kunka. Kunka is still alive, as Laurel now coming in with his BKB active, Satanic throws out the Eclipse as well, and they kill off Puppy. He's the first one taken from the fight, but the BKB of the Luna, it's expiring, it's finished now, at the same time, Yuragi, nice he dodge. gets killed, a nice dodge! of the Terrorize using the Manta style that allows this Luna to keep dishing out the damage. Sniper blinking away, they kill off Sento. Next to four will be Sanctity. And Yuragi and can he stand against back. the whole world. Storm is returning to the fray, ensuring that they have the disabled, ensuring that they have the damage. Is it safer to just go for Roche now? I think so, right? Because it is going to oh. be a nighttime Roche. It's... Did you see how it happened to Puppy? One Lucent Beam brought him down to 10% HP. Oh my goodness. She may be going on to this Luna, but she has Satanic and the BKB. Satanic, though, has been utilized. She hasn't been able to get the right clicks out. And now here she turns around with the BKB active. Can they bring down Boom? Raggy is there as well. Stole the Luna form, but not feeling strong enough or confident enough now to chase him onto her. But she got caught in a bramble. She doesn't have any of her big items. Now they catch her and they kill her. Storm Spirit caught inside the ensnare. We do have access to this. And as the BKB ends, he's held in position. Trying to get himself out the uh, mid lane. We have a kill onto the sniper. Yuragi waveformed in for the double. Looking towards getting this Kunka as well. He's been trapped in by the ensnare of Puppy. He's so tanky. tanking all of this damage. He's gonna eventually end up dead though. As the Morphling finds the adapter strike. A triple with the Conda. Catch him as he's making his way towards his team. Beautiful. They find him. They see him. Sanctity. Ninja does he blink away? No, he does not. They should be able to bring him down here. He does get off the roll. But it will not matter. He dies nonetheless. 80 seconds with buyback available. Puppy triggers the song. It Beautiful. catches the storm spirit. Will they be able to get the surround play here? The rest of the gang on Team Spirit also caught in position. Lol does not have access to his BKB anymore. Do they have the damage? The Luna coming in though, providing That's assistance. Fine. Just rationing them down. They do eventually get the kill out the storm, but hashtag work for them. Morphling. Coming back on life number two, there's no more BKB available on the Luna. She does still have Satanic though. She's in the river, all by her lonesome. She gets stunned up by Boom. They go back onto her. He's she is dead. In the grave, forced into buying back. Kunka now getting surrounded himself as well, and he gets killed off. Laurel with his buyback was not able to accomplish much in this fight. That would be a dead morph. That's why Puppy had to pop the song. And Puppy might get punished for this one. Hope crashes in onto him, but Sanctity creating space, going onto the backline, getting the roll out onto the Luna. She's terrorized right now. She needs to get the hell out of here. Yuragi on top of the Luna. She has BKB in three seconds, but she turns with the Satanic. Way too much damage. Yuragi ends up going down. Team Spirit, they baited them in. Now they want to punish them. How much further can they go? Luna. She pops in, BKB now at the ready, but no she needs to leave. Is Yuragi trouble. came in on the other side. Can they have the damage? Yes, they do. Two minutes in the grave, no buyback. They also catch the sniper for additional interest. And Luna just got overconfident there, overzealous with the chase. And the second that you don't have them is when Navi can just commit like Madman. So now, uh, because of that, because of doing that twice in the two decisive fights, you've lost this game. <sighs> Boshka buys back, but what really can you accomplish here? All of their damage. Most of it, like you mentioned, on the Luna, the rest of it on the Storm Spirit. The remaining heroes don't really do all that much. Kunka doing his best to try and delay proceedings. Biposhka throwing in the living armors, but it won't really matter. They are focused completely on the objective. They're going for this Ancient. Yuragi even pops the BKB to ensure this outcome. And Biposhka has seen enough. GG well played is called a crazy topsy-turvy game. Ends with Navi. No boat, no eclipse. You need a, a good hook shot here and a good tidal wave to try and take down 23 Savage. But the Swap is there again from the Venge. Crystallize lassoed back in towards them. Fortnite man, he's dead. Gone, done for. Crystallize as well. Buybacks available. Triple buybacks out of the cores. But OG, I mean, they're still not afraid. Net worth lead back and forth to 32,000 for OG suddenly yeah. pulling it out of the bag. Oh, the double. Oh, the catch on Crystallize. 
Lotuses and PKBs are up though. They're swapped back. That right is dead. The damage Wind on the bench shooting. kills are off as well. 23 Savage. He's dropping low, but he's got a Satanic to try and turn and fight. This crystallized Luna has been untouched so far. They need to deal with her quickly because she's got a triple kill and looking for more. Crystallized still at half health, trying to catch up to where this Wind Ranger is standing on the high ground. Kunker and Primal, the bodyguards, pressing forwards, but they can't get past Whisper. They got to turn around. Whisper's being too strong. It's like you've got to you've got to take your moments, you've got to pick your moments, and you've got to be wind patient as well. And they've got to swap to save the Wind Ranger. A lasso again from Ari. The Primal Beast moves straight forwards, trying to get into the pack where the Wind Ranger is lurking. They'll change tack though and go for the Dragon Knight kill instead. He Sam falling. He's dead, and the Dragon Knight gonna follow him in a second. Nine is gone. Both have buyback. Moonlight now goes on the timber saw. This Whisper Timber, he's tanky and does a lot That's of damage smart. back into you, stays alive, just barely surviving as the Kunker falls now. I mean, Whisper's Luna's made running. a great she escape. Says, get out, get out. Oh, yeah, time to run and hide. Tools here, ports are huge too. Everyone's got a lot of money. All the Luna. Swap save comes Helped in. out by the clock. Another swap, swap again. right back in. Blockwork down, but this Luna's damage starting to add up. That rider disappears, but crystallize with the BKB down, a little afraid of stepping further forward, just hoping that OG overextend themselves here. And Timbersaw, well, he's gone deep to kill off Moonlight. Very tanky fella will blink away now as the Kunker arrives, trying to boat him down. Whisper dragged a little deeper into the Radiant Base. As 23 Savage will BKB TP, 9 will run, and they've left Whisper here to die. Or the Mega Creeps, they have the D Deeder and timing. Yeah, I guess they feel that even. moment. Oh my god. Wind? Great on this Wind Ranger. Where's the swap? Where's the save? There we go. Seb comes in to save the day. 23 Savage dishing out She's some serious damage. We're taking it as well. The Seb can heal. It's not enough. Wind Ranger dead for two minutes alongside the Venge. This crystallized Luna's still alive. Whisper and Nine holding the line here. Trying to keep them at bay. But crystallized Luna might be on his ground. Luna's dead. They come back in with the damage. Pick up the rapier. Nine's got it now. We're in a 2v2 game! <laughs> <laughs> what is this fight, man? It's so crazy. They're still going here. Of course, it looks like only two are alive, but Vengeful Illusion is still here and healthy. True. True. A nine with a rapier. He's on this Kunker, scythe into scythe action as Whisper steps up. Fortnite Man is about to drown. He's nearly dead, taken down. Crystallize in trouble. The deadless crits out of this Dragon Knight. Oh, looked like it was going to be too much. He's trying to is still alive, barely, but the throne is falling. Fortnite man with a tidal wave trying to push back. He's got the, the chain, the back to safety. Now inside the vice, hexing up the dragon knight. Stop the throne from dying with a clockwork of the conquer. They've got the damage to bring him down, and the rape is reclaimed. What is OG this couldn't game? finish the game. They were close to it, but they're all dead now. And the give, <laughs> creeps in the dying. Yeah, let's go. Let's the get some damage. Gonna, they're, gonna do, they, they they, finish, they're finishing the game. They are. Just travel in. Sell stuff, TP in. They got it. What a better over. way to kick off the series or the entire season here. That is a beautiful qualifier. Ready or or willing, maybe maybe is the right way to look at it. None of them felt strong enough to go in and actually fight properly. Whereas you look at Nande right now, he's sitting on a tier two. Just hitting it in front of a Medusa and a Zeus. Yeah, yes he can. Oh, yes, he, he takes quite a lot of damage. There is there's this diffuser blade now, which is very irritating as the Medusa to deal with, but the Dandelions, they've fallen back and retreated and kind of baited OG into this upheaval fatal bonds. They've skewered the Doom back under tier two. Where's the damage from Dandelions? Is it is it coming to save the Five Doom? Five seconds on the shaker, ulti. Cool 23 on, Savage. There's no mana left on this Medusa, yeah, so they'll coming. jump in. 23's in trouble. Three man echo slam. Down they go. I mean, honestly, OG might just call it now. Question is, can Medusa be saved here? She gets well, jumped. the rock. Jumps. Oh, the snowball save from Seb. Buys time, the RP from Whisper gets them all in line, it's big. and now 23 Savage can open up with a damage. Massive players, Kadara Mova and Desire all destroyed as 9 and 23 Savage. The payload was too heavy. Nande on the run as the rest of his squad have been annihilated. He has his own ninja gear, so also not showing. OG have to react to this. I mean, Mobe has been caught out here with the Nimbus. He's been forced he to BKB and Whisper. 
And he's trying to Ooh. RP and right click him down. He's got the final shockwave to find the kill. I mean, the golem back the Medusa. in the mid lane, they've gone on the Medusa. You're right, with a golem drop, TP from Morphling. They see Seb on the high ground and Ari there as well. So Nande tries to go for the supports while this 23 Savage Medusa kills the golem and turns onto the Warlock and Willow with a oh, crit out of 23 Savage. He's got them both taken down. Lasso there on the Morphling as well. The Scardi doesn't allow him to heal back up. They're all dead. Yeah, they do, but. RP is ready on Magnus. He's ready to react here. Oh, no, no, no. He doesn't even get the first kill immediately. A little risky there, but first life of Medusa down. Zeus isn't here. They've gone for the RP straight on the Willow, so they blow up Desire and force the Earthshaker buyback. And 23 Savage still moving towards the throne and thinking about it. Oh, going on the back lane, Nanda. He's trying to get in there, and so is Mobe. Onto the Medusa with the Doom and the Stun. Tanky target out. 23 Savage, the tanky Medusa stands to the ground, kills off another three! OG have done it! What a comeback! I thought this game was over so many times, but OG never failed to surprise.